Female Teacher in Special Classroom Author, Agam Mora Cross-Dress Small World, Part 8, The Last Gift What I had predicted before finally happened. I said to myself, I haven't made any mistakes since I started teaching at X High School. So the only reason I got fired is because of that unwritten law. I was dressed as a girl during teaching in school. It seems that the school does not actually accept this, even though it is not written on the teacher's rules. I try to be as discreet as possible, but I may have been careless to let someone else find out at some point. I'm sorry, Carrie, Dante. What I advised you in the past may not be possible for me to do now. I can no longer protect Carrie as promised. I am no longer in a position to tell Dante to have fun living life in the present because my present good life is probably over. If I say I don't feel sad, it's a lie. But I'm not weak enough to beg for this work. There's a big horizon out there, where I can't go. If this world has decided I can't be a teacher, then it's time for me to find a new job. My thoughts only happen in a moment. By the time the principal handed over the file and the envelope containing my salary, I silently took them almost immediately. My face doesn't show any emotion. It looks like I'm back in the age of a cold man like I was before. Witnessing my unequivocal actions, the principal suddenly asked, Don't you wonder why you were fired? I looked up at the principal, I think I guessed it. Another teacher said, you have nothing to defend? Rumor is out there that you're a pervert who likes to dress up as a woman to seduce your students. I said with a smile, the more I justify things, the more they don't believe. As long as someone believes me to be pure, that's enough. A veteran teacher said, you have to know, being fired this time means you're not allowed to enter any schools in the future. If you agree to make a mistake in front of everyone, we can help you justify it together. My foot came out of the staff's room door. Before leaving, I left a sentence with the teachers, thank you very much for your attention. But I don't regret what I did. I also don't feel I'm wrong so there's no need to justify or apologize to anyone. I only have one request. Around the end of today's session, the delivery staff at the nearby bakery will deliver a few cakes. Please help me bring them to the 10 D students and say to them, congratulations on the first place in the exam. That's the result of your own efforts. This could be the last gift I give you. Either way, I'll always be your homeroom teacher. When I finished, I walked away without looking back. In the staff's room. The principal sighed again, he's a good teacher. Either way, he's the only one who can teach a class that doesn't have much hope of becoming a top class. Another teacher contemplated, that's right. In terms of teaching level and morality, we are not as good as him. A young teacher said, but what can we do? The voice of the Lynch family is still too loud in this city. Although Lynch family is not as powerful as most of the families of Class 10D, Hillel is definitely the future heir to Lynch family. As for the 10D students, although they are excellent, most of them are second children, they don't have any voice. This morning, a group of 10A students pulled up to the staff's room and sent the photos to the principal. At the same time, they actively spread rumors about Mr. Deva a perverted teacher dressed as a woman to seduce students. Having not stopped there, Hillel called his father so that he could use his power to directly pressure the principal, forcing the principal to fire Mr. Deva. At first glance, the principal seemed to be the most powerful person in the school. But in fact, all power is governed by those who have power in the city. The principal himself is only a scarecrow that is free to operate to the extent he can. Looking at the snooping photos scattered across the table, the teachers expressed their faces of regret. It's not clear if they regret a talent that suffers the injustice of life, or if they regret the beauty of a beautiful girl. Perhaps until now. 
the protagonist of these photos has not realized that his beauty can affect everyone. In the classroom of class 10D When the class had just ended, the students of class 10D did not rush out but had a conversation with each other. A student laughed, we are so good, will Miss Dave reward us? Another student replied, sure. But the results we get are all thanks to her help. Maybe we should take her somewhere for fun. The whole class response in unison. Dante smiled and said, Now let's all go back to our seats. Miss David doesn't like noise. So, the students returned to their seats. When the door of the classroom was opened, all the students looked up with anticipation. They're about to see their beautiful homeroom teacher again. The last few days have been a series of semester exams, so the 10D students have not been able to meet their homeroom teacher. Although they hadn't seen each other for a few days, it felt like decades had passed. However, the person who entered the room was not Deva. The teachers are holding the cakes that have just been delivered by the bakery staff. The 10D students are still wondering what's going on. As soon as the last cake was brought into the classroom by the teachers, a teacher stood out to convey any words that Mr. David had asked to be sent to his students. They then left the classroom in unison. The space in the classroom is filled with question marks. What's that mean? Why is this the last gift? Where's Miss Dava? Why didn't she go to class with them? The building of Class 10D is completely separate from the other classrooms in the school. Besides, the students of 10D class were not welcomed by the other students, so up to now, they have not heard the rumors about Mr. Deva, which are transmitted by the students. What does that last gift mean? A student asked. Dante frowned, looks like something's wrong. You all go home, let me find out information. Carrie sat behind, put his hand on Dante's shoulder, let me go with you. Dante nodded in place of his consent. Thus, the party was supposed to be a happy occasion that ended quickly in a slightly heavy atmosphere. X High School has two entrance gates, a main gate and a side gate. Students and teachers often leave through the main gate. Meanwhile, the side gate is very close to the building of Class 10D so 10D students often choose this gate to go home for convenience. Unlike the busy main gate, the side gate is quite deserted and takes on a dull color. Other students in the school also don't want to get involved with 10D students so they never go to the side gate. It was also because of this desert that each time Dave addressed as a girl, he often chose this gate as well. Therefore, Deva was discovered is a rather rare event. But everything in the world can happen. Just a moment when Deva was negligent, he was caught by Billy. After the 10D students left from the side gate, Carrie and Dante headed back down the hallway to the main school building. They want to go to a crowded area for information. What Hillel and Billy wanted was to spread Deva's bad reputation as far as possible. So, it didn't take long for Carrie and Dante to have the answer to the question in their heads. Right now, both of them are making very unsightly faces. Carrie punched the wall so hard that his hands nearly burst with blood, holy shit. Miss David does everything she can to help us, even to help this school, and this is how she ends up. Dante thought for a moment and said, who is behind this after all? Carrie looked sad, I miss Miss Davis smile and pretty face. Will we never see her again from now on? Dante replied, hard to say. But I won't let this end like this. I don't know how to bring her back, but I swear to restore her honor. To be continued. Today's story would like to stop here. Thank you for watching. Please like and share for people with similar interests to motivate me to develop my channel. Goodbye and see you in another story.